Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Callie with Callie Wicks Photography and I'm so excited to be launching this new channel to get you guys some awesome content when it comes to your photo sessions. Things such as how to prepare, what to wear, all that good stuff. So let's dive right in. Today we're gonna be talking about what should you wear to your family photo session or really in any photo session, but it's technically for family photo sessions. So we're gonna give you three different tips uh, for choosing your outfits. So one of the first things that we're gonna talk about is wear clothes that you are comfortable in. If you feel out of your place in your clothing, you'll look out of place in your photos. So you don't wanna spend a ton of your session time adjusting your outfit that keeps moving out of place, fixing your bra straps that keep showing and you really don't want that to happen. I mean, you can edit that out, but it's so much easier if you just feel comfortable with what you're wearing. So here is a couple common things with that that you want to look for with each family member. So we're gonna start with moms. So moms, I know short or tight dresses or skirts can be so appealing, but hear me out. You wanna be comfortable enough to interact with your family. You wanna be able to play with your kids throughout your session and not feel like you're tugging at your skirt out of place the entire time. So that could mean that you're standing, holding their hand sweetly, but it could also mean getting down on their level. So you wanna wear something that you can squat down to the floor and tickle your little ones, run around a little bit. Yeah, still have it be cute, cute but just make sure it is casual enough that you will be comfortable. Then next thing, we're gonna talk about dads. Dad's advice is pretty simple you wanna make sure to wear a long enough shirt. Um, you're gonna be the one that's swinging around your kids, throwing them up in the air, and I'm thinking you probably don't want your belly showing. So be intentional about choosing a shirt that is long enough so that you won't have any issues with that. You wanna be able to put your kids on your shoulders, give them, give them a piggyback ride, throw them around, stuff like that. Um, for kids, Really, you just don't want to go too fancy with them. You want them to be able to be comfortable enough that they're ready to play and have fun. Um, so if girls are wearing a dress, just make sure that you have a matching like undergarment, um, whether it's like the little panties that would match the dress or shorts or leggings, something that when their dress inevitably rides up during the session, there's something underneath instead of just, you know, a Pampers diaper. Um, it will look a little bit better um, and more intentional when you have that kind of thing happen. Um, and then kind of the same thing with the kids that's similar to the dads is just make sure that their shirts are also long enough because, you know, when you throw them up in the air and stuff like that, your hands ride up their shirts that, um, you know, little baby bellies are cute, but it will look better if the shirts are long enough that you don't see that. Um, so it'll just be good if you can tickle out all those smiles and be comfortable while doing it. So that's pretty much the main part of what to wear to be comfortable. And the second tip that we're gonna give is about colors. You want to avoid using neon or bright colors in your outfit. I'm not saying that you have to be completely neutral unless you love that style. Um, I personally love having some colored clothing in my sessions. However, muted and neutral colors will photograph the best for a flattering skin tone. So bright colors often cast a glow on your skin um, that take away that natural look. And one of the things I love about shooting photos is having it true to life, true color, and having a bright neon color against you is gonna cast a glow that it's gonna be harder to get that natural look that you want. Um, so generally what I say with that is it's best to err on the side of neutrals, to have most of your outfits be a very neutral tone, and then throw in, throw in a few preferably muted colors. So you, you can take some good neutrals for your whole outfit and then, you know, have 
you know, maybe wear some bright colored pants. I had someone do that the other week and it was so pretty. She had like bright neon green pants on, but because they were on her lower half, they didn't affect her skin tone for her face. So they were still able to have a beautiful pop of color. But on the top, uh, she was wearing a white shirt. And I think the guys, they were all in kind of pretty much white, black, gray, stuff like that. I would be careful about black if that's the color that washes you out, but you know what you look best in. So choose your neutral depending on that. Um, basically just, it's better to have neutrals because it's not necessarily about the outfit, it's about you guys. And we want you guys to shine through in your photo session. So that's really all I have to say about colors. Final tip is not forgetting about shoes and accessories. Oh my goodness, this one, I'm not gonna lie, I forget about all the time. I went to do my daughter's yearly photos the other day and realized I need to go out and get them some cute shoes because I went shopping and I got them cute shirts, made sure they had some cute jeans and then realized I was gonna have to put them in their really dirty tennis shoes and flip flops that they wear all the time. And it will look so much better if you prepare, splurge a little bit and get them some adorable shoes to wear. Um, same, I mean, same with you guys. Some, sometimes adults just don't have great shoes to wear. Make sure you prep that and you plan from head to toe your whole outfit. Um, same with like, if you want to wear some sort of jewelry, make sure it's not something that your kids aren't used to and they're gonna be messing with the whole time. But um, just make sure you think through some accessories a little bit and that'll really make your outfits pop. Uh, and then the only other tip that I have is just gonna be a bonus tip because I only said that we were talking about three, but bonus tip is for day of, remember to empty your pockets. This is something that hopefully um, your photographer will remember when you start your session and say, okay, we're gonna create a pile of all of your things because yes, having a phone visible in a pocket is not the end of the world, but it will look so much better if you've remembered to empty those and it just looks so much cleaner and nicer. So don't forget that. Same with um, watches. If you have a smart watch that you know, you like the look of, so you want it in the photos, just make sure to set it to um, like a nighttime mode so that the display will stay off so you don't get a notification <laughs> popping up during that. Um, but that, those are really the only things. Um, I hope this was helpful in deciding what you guys should wear to your next photo session. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I would love to discuss this with you. I have a Pinterest page that has some inspiration um, and there's, tons of great resources out there that I would love to help you uh, decide on your outfits for your next family photo session so you guys feel great and look great and can get those uh, photos on your walls updated to show your wonderful family. But thank you for tuning in this week and I hope you enjoyed this.